In utilities, there are several really convenient functions that I'd like to show you. So again, from forward programming, go to gyro settings, system settings, and then access utilities. And here you'll see copy flight mode settings and enable flight modes. So the first one we'll go to is copy flight mode settings. So, um, you know, right now we've talked about setting up three flight modes. So, and actually the 637T supports up to 10 flight modes. So with three flight modes, this probably isn't quite as useful, but as you can imagine, if you have 10 flight modes, being able to copy flight modes settings from one to another really shortens the setup time. It makes it a lot easier. It also makes sure that you're not making mistakes. So when you enter the copy flight mode setup screen, you'll see that it says warning, three flight modes, our target flight mode will be overwritten by the source. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to select a flight mode that you've already set up. In this case, we'll say flight mode one, we already have set up. And I want to transfer those settings to flight mode two or to flight mode three. Okay. So in this case, it says source flight mode is flight mode one. So all the settings, including the gains, the heading gain, uh, priorities, heading, all of those functions, if I choose to, I can transfer that to any other flight mode, which in this case happens to be flight mode three. And then I hit apply. And what I've done is I've just transferred, well, and I hit yes, accept it, and I've just transferred all the settings from flight mode one to flight mode three. So again, when we, uh, and here in just 30 seconds, we're gonna explain how to add more flight modes than three. So that's when this really becomes convenient. But um, that's what copy flight modes um, allows you to do. And then let's talk about enable flight modes. So if I select enable flight modes on the right hand side, you'll see that three flight modes are enabled and I can adjust this up to 10 flight modes. So keep in mind, however, that a lot of transmitters don't have the ability to have 10 flight modes. So the IX20, the latest update that we're, that's being sent out, and by the time you see this video, it will already been sent out, will support 10 flight modes. Um, the IX12 only supports five flight modes. Um, you know, the DX18 is five flight modes. So you need to look at the transmitter that you have and determine how many flight loads are even available. And so, and if, you know, if you want eight or 10 or whatever, just be sure that it's supported by your transmitter. And in the next video, we'll show you how to set up multiple flight modes above three.